All right, so today's project. I want to put that four wheeler in that truck. The problem is, is it would fit if these rails were the furthermost out point part, but these things and the wheel wells make it not so great. So it's off by like an inch and a half. Halfway on that wheel, because it really only needs to be like right here, is 69 inches. So, it's right here. It's really going to be a tread here and a tread here. I've got these extra pieces of 4x4, four four, which probably makes some good up and down posts. I had some rough cut hemlocks that are two inch thick that I saved from when I did my trailer over. And we can try and use those to carry the wheels. They're not super wide, but I mean, you just have to catch the wheel on it. it can't be that high, so. Just building this with the scraps we have laying around. Uh, when you put the four wheeler on and strap it down, all of it's locked in. Will this be something we can just slide right out if we don't want it in? <laughs> It'll be tight. I'm sorry, could you say that again? I zoned out and I didn't have you in shot. Probably gonna make these ones a little bit taller, just slightly. I think that it gets a little deeper as it goes this way. It kind of looks like it does. Well, I might have to trim the corners too. Well, that helps a lot. Here, do you want this? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Would that be in the way of our hooks? No. What about the gas thing over there? I know, but we'll just put it in this way, just a little bit to get around the gas thing. Oh. Ah. <laughs> we're keeping stuff square. Uh, that's well, quite a bit short. I don't know how I did that. Redo. Okay. Wait, how are we going to slant this? It doesn't need to be slanted. I thought it was a ramp. It's holding the four wheeler above the bed of the truck. Mm -hmm. At least the upper parts of it. Yeah, and then we'll slide stuff in here, right? Yeah, you can still be able to slide stuff in underneath. Okay. Like, you'll probably be able to put stuff in from the side, too, because of the wheel wells. Mm -hmm. But you can at least put stuff in and then put the four-wheeler on, too. Yeah. As long as it sits below the platform.
Mmm. Yeah, that looks good to me. Mmm, my, my, mm. Sarah Marie. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Just like that? Wow. Yeah. Well, Side no, we're going to square it up. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. These are stained with special home stain, remember? Yeah, the one I did. Yeah, didn't she I use... Broke my back. Yeah, didn't she do so much work and they just tore the entire thing apart? Spaghettios. I think this middle one's too fine. The middle one's too high. That, that's higher. Well, I thought since it was on the it. slip right here, I thought since it was on the slip right here that it would be the same height. Wait, what's high? The middle, I think. The back one looks like it needs to have something. Shame it. Oh, these ones are so short. Yeah. Kind of makes me want to recut them. Uh, I wonder if we can bow that. Like, if we put a couple screws in this, if it will just conform. Try it. There's no reason not to, is there? Yeah, but it's so high up off of that one. If we one. put a leg through it, though. A leg? Yeah, but then won't it be slanted with the four-wheeler on top? I mean, we could cut it. So that it's perfectly flush. It's a bit. Like the Lincoln time. Logs idea? Yeah. But then it takes time. Project Lincoln Let's Logs. Let's just see if this will work. Are you gonna put something in like a, a screw in at an angle? Here's one. No, we'll just leave it. It'll be fine. Because it's under pressure. Dun dun. Mm -hmm. We ain't gonna let that little snafu keep us down too long. Huh? What? A little snafu. That should stay there. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Are you gonna need this? Nope. Alright. Ta da! Now somebody's gotta drive up. No, 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 no. I'm I'll recording right now. I can't do that. Oh, yeah. How are we even supposed to put the four wheeler up on top of this? What? Ramp is going to reach all the way up. Yeah. Might have to be a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Are you serious? Might have to be a little bit choosy about our spots. We could use that slope over there, too. But now we have options. Because I got a feeling that. Mm -hmm. You guys are right, oh that's going to be super oh steep to get on there. Right? I didn't say anything. I have the, one of the shortest ramps at the spot. And I had to put a bunch of rivets in this ramp, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Because I helped. Boring mine. You're going to explode again, huh? Let's, uh... Yeah, you have a lot of explosions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. How did you cause a ramp to explode? I like with my bucket loader and it ripped all the rivets out.
So it's up on there. We put some blocks and stop so I can't run through the back window. And you'll notice that while well, I was under there, and I'm a chubby fella, so there's quite a bit of room under there for all your equipment. Now, one thing I didn't account for is those outer wheels. I mean, those front wheels are much smaller than the back wheels. So you can see they're only half on right there and there. So I think to combat that, I'm just going to put another piece of wood, at least on that front part, so that when it's traveling, it's not just sitting half on something. That won't hurt to pull it on that way, but I'll probably rip one of the other pieces I have of these in half lengthwise and just run it up there. I only need that little bit of extra room. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.